Hey, my friends out there in internet land, it's Matthias, and welcome back to another video. If you're watching my my video uploads, you'll notice that sometimes I'll make may make a couple videos in the same area. Sometimes I'll make a couple different areas. Depends on my day. Depends on my schedule. But anyways, today's message is really about owning your own corporation, and this is something that I picked up from the Robert Kiyosaki book. It's the very first book I ever read. I was 17, 18 years old. I was in senior year of my high school, or I was a senior in high school. I was actually going to school during the day, obviously going to high school, and then I had cold call uh, Hispanics and sell mortgages. This is back in 2005, 2006, obviously the peak of the markets. Um, part time, I made some great money. This is just before I got introduced to network marketing. I had picked up the book, Rich Dad Poor Dad, was given to me by the broker that I was working for. He's like, hey man, you know, you're doing really good stuff. You should start reading some of these books. So he handed me the first book I ever read on success, on entrepreneurialism, capitalism, all I thought about was making $50,000 a month at that time because I saw all these other young guys around me just making calls and making all this money selling loans. So I was like, okay, cool, that's all I gotta do. Well, I'm glad that book was given to me because I really understand the purpose and the four quadrants that are explained in that book and we're not gonna get into that right now, but we're gonna get into just understanding the basics of owning your own corporation. What are some of the benefits and why you wanna own your own corporation instead of work for someone else's corporation, all right? Now, this message is not for everyone. Uh, some of you may never own your own corporation, okay? That's gonna be your own personal decision, your own sacrifice, your own action taking that will allow you to create your own corporation. Now, a couple misconceptions people have about owning your own corporation. Owning a corporation does not mean you have thousands of employees. It does not mean you have 10 employees, okay? Owning a corporation is simply owning a separate entity, okay? In this world of capitalism, this world of America that we live in, if you do not study the laws and don't understand the financial structure that we are working within, it's very, very hard to create any kind of wealth. Very, very hard to create any kind of wealth. Even in, in this country where this is technically the only country in the world where you can actually start at the bottom and go to the top, but if you go to any other third world country out there, it's extreme, it's, it's pretty much impossible to create any kind of wealth because there are no separations between companies, people, entrepreneurs. It's one big socialist system, right? Everyone is controlled by the government. Here, yes, there are some ups and downs in our government, but we still have free enterprise. We still have capitalism. You can still start from the bottom and go to the top. So. The misconception, one of them, like I said, is owning tons of employees. That's not true, okay? You can own a corporation, you can own an LLC, you can own a C-Corp, you can own an S-Corp, because there's different types of corporations available out there that allow you to have different, um, I guess, structures within that corporation, how you wanna lay it out. For me, personally, I run everything through an LLC. It's very basic, very simple. Um, it's cost-effective. The yearly costs are very low compared to running an S-Corp or C-Corp, and those are mainly for shareholders, mainly for bigger companies that have you know, advisors, that have different uh, executive boards right now, now, my LLC is pretty much ran all by me. Um, there is no other uh, officers really listed on the, the, the LLC that I, I would ever trust. You know, if you give an officer some kind of rights over your LLC, they can easily take it away from you. So, the best thing to do is for me, I like to protect everything. So, the purpose I have an LLC is everything I make, okay, everything that I make from network marketing checks, uh, consulting, uh, web development company. Um, anything that I produce in terms of money comes into the LLC account, okay? From that LLC account, I pay myself a small monthly, weekly salary from the earnings. Now, why do I do that? Well, if I were to just pay myself all that money, I would put myself in this huge tax bracket that I would probably be in the 30 to 40% tax bracket, even being in the state of Nevada, which really doesn't have a state tax, it's strictly federal and a self-employment tax. So, I run everything through an LLC, after I pay myself, okay, after I pay myself, whatever's left in the LLC, I do my best to reinvest into the company. Now, over a certain period of time, you can only reinvest so much until you have an infrastructure that really doesn't need any more money. What do you do with those funds? Well, this is where the wealth creation process really begins. What happens then is, let's just say you're depositing every single month into your LLC 20 grand. Okay, we'll just, we'll just do a very even number. And you're paying yourself, say, of that 20,000, um, let's say the actual profits after paying out the, the taxes, the sale tax, and any employment, any outsourcing, let's just say it's 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 15 grand, six, six, uh, 14 grand, okay, that's left over, right? From that 14 grand, I will pay myself anywhere from seven to 8,000, and I will have $6,000 left in that account. Now, 
I can take turn around and reinvest that. Okay, I can turn around and reinvest that back in the company. I can buy more ads. I can just build more infrastructure. But I've already done that. So now what I do with those profits is I take a tax hit on those profits and then I put it into investments. Okay, to me, the best investments that I make is really myself in active businesses where I can be involved, not physically, but technology wise and make executive decisions and take an idea and, and, and fuel it with money, fuel it with wisdom, fuel it with experience and let that grow. So the best example I can give you is the money I've earned through direct sales, through my web consulting, my web development, I have invested into a local store. Now, I took a risk and the risk was I've never been in a local business market. And the reason why was I, I just was always so online, so network marketing driven, which is 95% of my income still. But I wanted to create something different, something unique, and I wanted to experiment. You know, I just, I'm, I'm young, I just wanted to try something different. So I set up a store here locally called Envy Elements. And that store has been fueled from the profits that I've generated through my LLC, through my habits, through my activities. So it's given me the ability to take what I've owned from my corporation and reinvest into the next company, okay? The other benefits of owning a corporation, tax benefits. This is huge. Um, the, the thing about tax benefits is that if you have a LLC and you pay yourself on there and you keep it within, say if you, for example, in the state of Nevada, if you stay within below $100,000 a year of personal income, like you take a salary from your own company, you won't get taxed as high as you taking all the profits from the company. See, that's the biggest thing. Like most of these guys online that you see in these, these network marketers that are making $100,000, $200,000 a month, they don't pay themselves that much. Okay, if they do it right, okay, the smart ones, the ones that are able to retire after their career, because I've met a lot of network marketers that have made millions of dollars and they're broke because they mismanage their money, but let's just say you have a network marketing check that's paying you $100,000 a month. Your, all, your overall cost to generate that is very minimal if you did it all through relationships and took the time to organically grow it. Let's just say the overall costs are maybe $10,000. So you have $90,000 of profits that one, can be taxed, and two, you don't need that much in your own personal accounts. You don't need that, own, that much in your own hands. It'd be stupid to do that. So you take a very, very small salary out of that whole bunch you pay yourself a nice healthy salary to pay your bills, enjoy life, take your family out, pay your cars, just kind of just live within the means and the rest of the money you invest. I don't recommend any investments in the stock market. I don't touch any of that. If I were to do anything outside of businesses, it would be silver, gold, universal life policies. That's all I know right now and that's all I've been researching in terms of investing my money for the long term. And that's the other thing too, real quick, and let me make a disclaimer. I'm not a financial advisor. This is only based on my experience and the influence and advisor I have around me. But the, the, the investment part is people are misled thinking that they want to put 10,000 in today and then you want to get 20,000 out tomorrow. Investing is a 30 year plan. Okay, if you talk to anyone successful in the stock market, which I'm not involved with, but anyone successful in that market, they look at it as 10, 15, 20, 30 years down the road of investing. It's not an overnight gamble. We're not day trading. Okay, day trading to me is a waste of time. It's, it's too much time involved in markets that we don't control. So I don't touch that. But what I'm saying is investing is a long term reward. Okay, you want to put your money in a place like an annuity where it's tax deferred or universal life policies where it's tax free, where you can put the money in there, let the interest grow on that money, and then you'll get taxed when you pull the money out. For example, in fixed index annuities, you can put your money in those accounts. You can let it sit for 10, 15 years tax deferred. Okay, tax deferred. When you pull the money out, you'll get taxed. But during that 10, 15, 20 years that that money is sitting in that account and growing interest anywhere from maybe 5%, 12% a year, depending on how the market does, you will then grow that money without being taxed and then you'll hit a point where when it's ready to retire, you can take dividend payouts or you can just take that money out and you'll take a, a hit, but the whole time that your money was growing pretty much tax-free in the account. A universal life policy, for example, you put money into it, it's a life insurance policy, it builds up cash value, it's tax-free. You can borrow against it, Okay, you can borrow against pretty much your own bank and charge yourself an XYZ you know, interest rate and you can set that money aside and just pay into it for the next 20, 30 years, and then when you're ready to take it out, you can pay yourself away from that account. So there's so many benefits and, and little uh, angles that allow you to create true wealth by owning a corporation, okay? The other thing that owning a corporation, a lot of people don't understand, is it's a separate entity. It's really its own 
person in its way. It has its own tax ID, it has its own setup. And I know some of the rules are different. You have to personally guarantee if you borrow against that company name or you borrow against that entity, but we don't borrow. We do everything on a, on a cash base. We're, our company is strictly cash-based growth, organic growth. I am not the type of person to borrow money. I don't take on any investors at all. I like to do everything organically. And the name, number one reason is I don't want headaches. You do not want to create headaches when you're trying to become and create success for yourself, for your family. There's so many ways to create success in today's world with the internet and technology and, and videos and, and blogging and internet marketing and network marketing that you don't need to create these headaches to create a two to $300,000 a year lifestyle. You just don't need it. You don't need all these other headaches, right? You can do it in a very conserved, very comfortable atmosphere, keep yourself healthy, keep yourself out of stress and keep yourself growing okay I rather my whole thing is I'd rather be the turtle than be the rabbit because I know that turtle may be going slow but it will get there some of the people want to be the rabbits and what happens is they just kind of like a grasshopper they hop around from thing to thing from idea to idea and they never really focus in one area never master a couple skills they never master an industry they never truly master themselves okay so I hope this gives you a little more wisdom um, like I said, I'm not all about marketing and all about just internet marketing. There's so much more that uh, you will learn once you make the decision to work with me, you make the decision to uh, join a direct sales program and, and begin your journey of entrepreneurialism, capitalism, and wealth creation. So anyways, my friends, I hope you found this valuable. I know there's a lot of little things that I mentioned in there that have a lot of different angles. So if you have any comments or anything, just go ahead and leave them down the video. And I, I feel very blessed to be able to share this with you guys, but I'm always Always open to feedback and conversation um, as long as it's not you trying to talk down to me because at the end of the day if, you, if someone's trying to talk down to me I, I just cut them out right if it's an email Facebook person a phone call I, I just cut them out okay we all have our own way of seeing things and that's just how it's gonna be and that's what it is right so anyways my friends hope you guys are having a great day we'll speak very soon own your own corporation as soon as possible save yourself tax money start creating wealth and once again create the financial freedom that you deserve. Not that you want, but that you deserve. We'll speak soon.